Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Um, <laughs> I, I, I got something to talk about. Uh, I, I get several, several comments on videos about, uh, I got one just this week. Guy's like, it was an older video and he commented, he's like, you know, you, you ramble too much at the beginning of the video. Why don't you just get into it? What you need to watch some other people on YouTube and see how it's done properly and blah, 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 big, long comment. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking, dude, what, do you not have anything going on in your life at all? You know, if you don't like my videos, go watch somebody else. If you've got nothing better to do but it, tapity tapity tap 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 on your keyboard all day long then you need to get a life but <laughs> so just to counter what that guy said i'm rambling something i haven't done in a long time is give a shout out to my ladies i got a lot of ladies on this channel that love fixing stuff they're fixing stuff all the time you go girls i'm i'm i love to see ladies fix stuff uh i i like to see women be independent and you know fix stuff and i love it so all right i guess that's enough rambling for today working in this travel trailer today uh customers got a couple windows that he's been having trouble with leaking when we get hard rain uh we got one in the bedroom got one in the bathroom so these aren't going to be bad uh, does seem a little odd to me these are not frameless windows but they used the foam gasket on the back of them and i'm going to go back with the foam gasket because i'm afraid the windows might be a little thick to try and use putty tape uh, to seal them on the outside so i got the foam um if you need that foam for your windows uh because like i say typically we see this uh the foam used on the frameless um but if you need that foam Go check out my Amazon store. Go to my website, hillbillyrv.net. Click on the Amazon link. It'll take you right to my store on Amazon. There's all kinds of parts and tools uh, on there. And if you go look for something and you don't see it, let me know. Sometimes for some reason, it seems like Amazon just, uh, just takes stuff off the store randomly. And I'll go find it, put it back in there no big deal but uh here's the one in the bathroom and uh not bad we don't have balances to deal with we'll get the uh we'll get these little curtain rod balances out of the way uh pop the uh pop the day night shades off these brackets which they can be a bit of a pain sometimes this is like a spring loaded bracket and you got to push back on it pry down i don't know sometimes i have to take a screwdriver and uh, just pry these down on the back and then they'll come unhooked um, unscrew the strings at the bottom the blinds get out of the way because well actually I can get to the screws without removing the blinds. These are uh, screwed in all the way around the perimeter. So yeah, cool. I don't have to take those blinds down. <laughs> That's even better yet. Here's the other one. We have to do. Get a little balance out of the way. Oh yeah, man, look at that. There's the screws. Well, let me get y'all set up here. I don't know what this is gonna look like. You're pointing out to the sun. Get y'all leveled up. Set y'all on the bed here where y'all be nice and comfy. You uh, you want me to fluff your pillow? Or y'all good? Okay, awesome. So yeah, we just got a whole bunch of screws to get out here and uh, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that one to last this customer's gonna help me 
uh, once we get all the screws out. He's going to go out and hold the window while I take the last screw out so we don't run a risk of the window falling out. Probably not. Probably still have to pry the window out a little bit. Uh, but since I use foam, I just, I don't want to trust, I don't want to trust it. And I might st still have to get these blinds out of the way. I don't know. Those screws are a pretty good angle. They must have put them screws in with the blinds already there. Which is odd, I think. These are not too bad. Um, I kind of, I kind of prefer the ones with with putty tape. To be honest with you. Okay, that's all but one screw. Now I'm going to go in the bathroom and do the exact same thing, and then we'll pull both these windows out. All right, Don, I'm ready. We'll do this one first. I got one more screw to take the out, then okay. I'll come out. I've got a little bit of silver at the top. Well, let me grab my little ladder. Gonna get her. Let me uh, like cut that silver a little bit at the top. There's where she's leaking. The seal didn't cover the hole. Right there. Yeah, see, you can see where the seal. Yeah. I bet you that right there's where it's leaking. Your hand's wet. I was going to say, I can feel yeah. the. Yeah. Yep. And it hasn't rained for. Yep. Yep, that's where she was leaking. Right here is probably the leak. You see where the rubber seal gets a little bit short right there. Yeah. And it's uh, actually a little damp in there. So yeah, that's where she was leaking, right there. Let's go get the other one out and then we'll uh, start cleaning them windows and put the new seal on. All right, so we got the windows out. This is the one out of the bedroom. Now we just need to get this foam seal off. Try try to get the uh, try to get the tape off too uh, if we don't it's not the end of the world but this is actually coming right up so that's good well it did though I said it was good um, just pull this old gasket off say so we'll try and get as much of this that's the that's actually the tape on the back side of that. Try and get as much of that off as we possibly can. Um, you don't have to go you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to spend a a week cleaning these windows. But you just try and do the best you can. Just taking a putty knife and just scraping that, uh, scraping the tape off where it didn't come off with the seal. 
And there's where they put the seam in the seal at the bottom. It always goes on the bottom of the window or whatever whatever you're putting in. It'll be a window, a door, a vent, apartment door, or whatever. So whether you use foam like this or uh, or putty tape or butyl or whatever it is that you use. There's always going to be a seam in it, so you always put that at the bottom. I'll tell you what, I only started carrying this table with me a few weeks ago, and I don't know how in the world I, I've lived the last 25 years without this table. It's just a little cheap plastic table from Sam's Club. The small one was like the four foot one. That thing is super handy. Yeah, I just uh, put a towel on top of that table. Makes everything not slide around. Works out pretty good. All right. Now that we got that scraped up, we're going to put some uh, rubbing alcohol on it clean rag and we're going to just clean this the glue surface so our new seal will stick to it watch these these things are sharp where those screws come those clamp ring screws come through uh, everything here is sharp I know some of you, some of you guys are kind of sadistic, man. Y'all like to see me bleed. I do a lot of it, but I don't like it. Try not to bleed as much as possible. I don't know what kind of sealer they used on top of the window. They used some kind of sealer like a flashing on top, and it's really chalky, dusty. So get all that off. Here's the uh, part number on the seal. Like I say, just go to my Amazon store and you'll find it. Uh, this was 25 feet. We were just doing two windows. We're just doing the ones today that he knows are leaking. We may at some time later on do the rest of them. I don't know. That's completely up to the customer. So I'm going to start on the bottom right here, and I'm going to put this on the outer edge so that hopefully we don't miss that corner. Uh, so the, the corner's covered very well in that bedroom window, which this is the bedroom window. The bathroom window, we didn't find, uh, we didn't find where the seal was short. He had a leak in the uh, was in the uh, shower drain, so the the leak that he thought he had in that window in there may have been the shower drain, but no biggie. He took the window out; just takes a few minutes. We know we'll get a good seal on it now. And if he has any more leaks in there, he knows it's not going to be the window. Just going to go all the way around this window, being careful on the corners. Make sure you don't get a, a wrinkle or a fold in the gasket. This is really wide gasket. Um, this, this is probably the widest gasket I've ever used. Uh, this must be uh, three quarters of an inch wide. So, this ought to seal really, really well. Um, so yeah, this, this is quite a bit wider than uh, any that I've ever used. Which is good, I think.
I don't think I've ever had one of these windows out that the hole that the window goes in is not too large. Seems like they're always too large in at least one corner. And so that makes it makes it not cover really well. I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna cut it off like a 30 second long. Finish pulling the paper off. I'm gonna stuff it, put it together first and then stick it on the window. So like I said, I just cut that like a 30 seconds of an inch too long um, so that it would form a nice tight seal at the bottom of the window. So you probably can't even see it, or maybe you can see it, but it's at the bottom anyway. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the bathroom window. Then I'll take my putty knife, we'll just clean the, the outside of the camper I will take my clean rag and I'll wipe it off with rubbing alcohol and uh, then we'll be ready to put these windows in. So I'm not going to show you all that, like I say, just, just a little bit of cleaning. Customer held the window while I went inside put a couple screws in the clamp ring. We have them both stuck in. I just got to finish shooting all the screws. Because this, this is a clamp ring here that clamps from this wall to the outside. The screws, all they do is just draw the, the, the window and the clamp ring together and clamps it. Hence the name clamp ring. So same thing in here. So you just got to get all them screws back in all the way around the perimeter. And then I'll put just a little bit of sealer just going to use 100% silicone around three sides of the window um, where when they manufacture it they only put just a little bit of sealer on the top let me see if I can get you a shot of another window that we haven't done yet so they put just a little bit of sealer around the top we will do we will do three sides leave the bottom open yeah that's what they used So let me get a bunch of screws shot back in these windows and then we'll be back. All right, um, not actually done yet. I did the bathroom first. I ended up taking the shade off. This is just like a day night shade, only it's not a day night, it's just a day shade, I don't know. Um, or night shade, I don't know. But anyhow, it works exactly like all the day night shades um, that you're gonna see in an RV that have the strings like this. So let me show you what I did. I think, I think if I put y'all down here and point y'all up, maybe you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Probably not, maybe not. I don't know, I can't really see. Um, just, uh, you can take and pull the, pull the shade down a little bit, take these, Take these screws out of these buttons down here, and then once you take one out, then that shade no longer has any tension, and it will just fall down. So get both those out. If they're, if the string is around, wound around these little buttons thingies, um, just notice, just kind of notice how tight, how tight they are. Because you need to duplicate that when you put them back. Okay. Now, up top here, this is going to be really hard to show. See these little metal clips? Uh, they actually snap up in the back. So if you kind of twist it, twist it down, it just pops loose. Okay. Then we get the get the shade out of the way. So what happened on the, in the bathroom, I couldn't get the right angle to get these screws in that clamp ring. And um, so I had to take the, the shade off. I'll tell you, this is one of the few windows that I've ever done. I didn't find any broken screws. So it's not uncommon at all. It's 
not uncommon to not hit the old holes too. You might have to make new new holes. Just don't don't over torque these screws. Because like I say, I, it's not uncommon to find find these broken. And they get broken by over torquing. So you really got to use trigger control on your drill, on your drill to keep from over torquing these things. All you do is kind of, well, let me see. See if I can show y'all what I'm doing here. You have to center it, get it pre-centered, then, where am I looking? Get it pre-centered and put it up in the bracket in the front and then snap it up in the back. Put it, there's a little lip right there. Put it in, pulled up in the back. There you go. Put the screws back in there tension strings these weren't wound at all so the strings are in good shape on these they uh because these things don't want to stay stay up or down or whatever um just taking the tighten the string a little bit don't take much, and then, uh, then they'll do okay. Put our little uh, curtain rod balance back on. And there we are. So that's basically all there is to it. So putting a little bit of seal around the windows. Uh, I'm not gonna show that. I have showed that on so many videos. You know, whether it's a water heater video or a furnace video or window video or whatever um so if you want to see how you do the seal on the outside go check out some other videos um so that's gonna be it for this one so y'all uh, y'all check out other videos and while you're at it check out that comment section down there leave me a comment a criticism a concern and uh i'm gonna go up road and fix another one y'all have a fantastic day mm -hmm.